Before becoming a farmer, Andy worked in the fashion houses of Milan and Paris. That's why on one of the hottest days of the year we find him skillfully chopping the arms off his Jack Pike top. If I do it in an angle, it looks better on my shoulder, won't it? Amazingly, he has shown atom level so accuracy. That is cool, isn't it? By the way, Jack might do do short sleeve ones. <laughs> Dressed for success, we quickly understand why he is here. There are hundreds of jackdaws on this wheat. For many pest controllers, this small member of the crow family gets a get out of jail free card. But crow is of a different mindset. They are destructive. It's quite a sorry looking field, though, crow, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, we had um, a lot of rain two weeks ago. We've got about 70 acres gone flat. We've got some worse than this. Um, but the jackdaws have honed in on this bit. Uh, that's the wood they usually roost and It's not our wood, but that's why they usually roost. And of course, coming out of roost, odd ones have just dropped on here and it's just built up. There's probably a thousand jackdaws who has been here. It's starting to do a bit of damage. Uh, today's really the first day that I can get out. It's the hottest day of the year so far. And it's going to be a bit warm, but you can see the damage they're doing. Uh, this is a perfect jackdaw thing. They tend to, you've got all these, look, they snap the ears off. They tend to snap the ears off and take them away and go and sit in a tree and eat them. But you can see on the heads that they've started picking the grains out. See the grains, they've been picking the grains out. They might just clear off. They've got so many, they've got a fair acres to go on, but we might get an area, we might shoot a few. It's a nice flat bit here. Tuck back in there in the shade and um, give them a bit of a G up. But, uh, years ago, there never used to be the numbers there is now. But um, in the winter, there's up to 5,000 jackdaws roosting there in that wood. It's not air wood, but we do get on the edge of it and shoot a few. But, but the thing is, the youngsters have just come off their nest. Of course, mum, mum, dad brought them all out here onto my crop. So, <laughs> but they, hopefully, we get some silly ones coming nicely. But, but otherwise, they might just like they have now. There's a load back in the trees. That's the youngsters. Um, but hopefully, they they move about. There's quite a nice flight line through here. So. It actually smells of, of corporate here. It, it absolutely stinks of jackdaws, they smell anyway, so it does absolutely smell of jackdaws. It's the noise they make as well, they, when they're, they're feeding they just don't stop chattering and that, that attracts their mates here. To help matters today, we have some UK shoot warehouse decoys. They show up well in the Pulsar Helion Thermal Spotter which we have on loan at the moment. We have used thermal before and it offers a different view on the situation. Here's a hot crow and Rosa tending to the pattern. Crows tend to feed a bit closer. Well, like you say, you see all that lot in here. How many jackdaws are here and in this little hole, so I'll just put a load of decoys out. I've got some Scylla socks and just some normal full body ones that I've got from the UK Shoot Warehouse. So they're good decoys. Just make sure they're flock coated. Everyone knows what crows are like, they're pretty clever. The fear is always that these clever birds will soon find some other flat patches of wheat, but we do get some shooting. Andy shows restraint by letting pigeons pass as we are here for the jackdaws, but he weakens and folds a couple of times. Over the past few months, we may have suggested that an Andy Crow game bore shell was in the mix. So we bring up the C word. Corn. Cartridge. Cartridge. Where are we off to tomorrow? Game bore. What are we going to go there for? Look at my new cartridges. Yeah, look they're at coming. The, they are coming. Yeah, they're, they're starting to push them out a bit now. Apparently they're coming off the production line, so we're off up to have a look at them. And uh, fill the car up with a few of them. So, no, quite looking forward to it be interesting to have a look around the, the factory as well, see the shop tower and everything. So. You've never seen anything like that before? No, I haven't. So it's all, all new to me, so I can't wait to go out and have a look around. Then. As the temperature hits 30 degrees, the hide offers some welcome shade. It's hard work. We can hear and see the birds feeding at the opposite end of the field, drawing other birds away from us. We need more guns on deck. Like I said, when we got here, they've got so much ground to they got big acreage to feed on. Um, being the first time at them, I thought we'd, we'd pick a few up a bit quick, but um, they're just dropping down the other end. Keep coming past, but 
Old ones keep coming past. In range. It's definitely seeing you, David. Because I ain't seeing me. We've shot about 20 jackdaws and 10 pigeons. Not a big bag, but a fun afternoon all the same. It was worthwhile exercise, have you? It's been worthwhile. Shot a few pigeons and a, uh, we could have shot quite a lot of pigeons if we concentrated on pigeons, but I was really here just to have a couple of jackies. So uh, we shot a few of them, it was quite nice. Bit of fun for a couple of hours. And you're looking cool with your Stella McCartney top. Yeah, you like that, don't you? You can either have it with the, the rolled up or the straight side to it. Or rolled up. I prefer the rolled up. So with a few weeks before this crop is off, it looks like Andy will be back making some noise to put off any species wanting a chew on his ears.